Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Which of these scenarios is a violation of federal fair housing laws? Imagine you're searching for a new home, excited about the prospect of finding the perfect place. But what if you encountered situations that made you feel like you were being treated unfairly? Let's break down some scenarios to see which ones violate federal fair housing laws. Scenario one, withholding availability. If a landlord tells one prospective tenant that an apartment is available, but then tells another tenant of a different race that the apartment is not available, even though it ends up being leased after the initial inquiry, this is a clear violation. This behavior discriminates against protected classes, such as race, color, or national origin one, two. Scenario two, refusing to show. If a real estate agent refuses to show a home to a buyer based on their race, religion, or ethnicity, this is a direct violation of the Fair Housing Act. Similarly, if an agent directs a buyer to a different neighborhood based on discriminatory reasons, it's also against the law. Three, five. Scenario three, inadequate building access. If a newly built condominium complex does not meet accessibility standards for people with disabilities, making it inaccessible for potential buyers who use wheelchairs, this is a violation. The Fair Housing Act requires reasonable accommodations and timely repairs to ensure all housing is accessible for. Scenario four, unequal mortgage lending terms. Mortgage lenders cannot impose higher interest rates or offer loans with unfavorable terms based on a borrower's race, sex, or national origin. For example, charging higher interest rates for home loans in predominantly Latino neighborhoods compared to predominantly white areas is a violation one, two, five. Scenario five, harassment and retaliation. Harassment, including sexual harassment and retaliation against those who report discrimination are also prohibited. This includes threatening or coercing someone who is exercising their fair housing rights or assisting in a fair housing investigation. Scenario six, blockbusting and steering, persuading homeowners to sell their properties because a particular protected class is about to move into the neighborhood, known as blockbusting, and directing specific groups to or away from certain neighborhoods, known as steering, are both violations 135. These scenarios highlight the various ways in which federal fair housing laws can be violated. It's important to understand these laws to ensure everyone has equal access to housing without facing discrimination. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.